welcome to rdlc reporting in asp.net we have done with the crystal report now there is also another way of reporting that we called it call it as rdlc reporting so for that you have to go to view then you have to go to solution explorer from the project right click add new item and then select rdlc report <coughs> this is quite different from crystal report as you will see later on so just click on report let the name be report dot rdlc as the default name then uh, click on add so as you click on add you get this design of the rdlc but here you won't be able to add the field because we haven't set the fields for this that is the table so for that again you have to right click on the project then go to add new item then you click on data set now data set is used for getting the table for what we are going to report now as you add this just click on yes so when you say yes the file will be stored in the application code that is the data set will be stored where in applis, uh, application code now this is the design view of the data set as you see here just click on server explorer then from the server explorer you select which database you want to select suppose this is the database i want to select so just enter the password and click okay then click on tables from the table select bill just click on bill and drag it on the data set designer so here the table will be displayed as you can see here this is displayed now if you want to know the records in this right click on this bell click on preview data so as you click on preview data and again preview you will see the output of the table then please uh, click close close the data set save it and come back to the rdlc design now click on toolbar and you will get the report items so from the report items drag a table so you will get this header details as we are done in crystal report now click on bills and select each of the fields in each of the columns resize the column according to your requirements so drag each of the fields and then if you want to add still more columns right click here and then say insert column to the right so this way you can go on adding as many columns as you want so here i want item and i right click insert column to the right then item then uh, quantity you can uh, reduce the size according to your requirements so by mistake we have placed it at the wrong place so delete click on this set delete again go back place it on this that is on details and similarly suppose one more column so right click insert column to the right and then you can drag it here so this is how we defined each of this fields okay and this is quantity we don't require 
so much neither do we require for the ray now add column to the right then uh, click here so we want to calculate the amount so just that amount then click here right click and you click on expression in expression you click on uh, the fields of the data set bills now that is quantity you double click on quantity then multiplication double click on rate and you say ok so this is how we calculate the amount then uh, right click on this and then you say close save it <coughs> then come to this toolbar go to the reporting tab and uh, drag microsoft report viewer and then from this report viewer you select the rdlc file uh, just as we used to do it in crystal report so from the smart tag it is downloading so it's quite simple uh, not so difficult 